I'm not sure which one happened first. Either Hollywood made it popular, it was a saying before then, but they have the saying, if you build it, they will come. And that certainly is something that you might consider with SharePoint. You're going to put out all of these fabulous sites, and your users are going to flock to them and use them to their utmost capabilities. But that's not always a good thing unless you have a little bit of control. It shouldn't be an all-or-nothing thing, where you're either in the site or you're out of the site. There needs to be some fine-grained tuning to allow people to do the things they need to to kind of keep them out of trouble or the areas that they're not supposed to go into. SharePoint has several different levels of permissions. So we need to take a look at what those are, how you implement them, all the way from the top at central admin down to the list level. Sometimes it gets a little confusing with all the different levels and the names start to sound alike. So we'll go through kind of definitions of what some of the different administrators are. Then we'll talk about what some of the permissions are that you can assign to those people. You might start off at the very top with something known as a farm administrator. Remembering that SharePoint can either be a single server or a series of servers. That's where the name farm from server farm comes into play. So this is absolutely the top level of administrator status. Anybody in this group can administer and have full control over any site in the collections or in the server farm. They can also take control of the ownership of content. So if somebody was an administrator or an owner, they're not doing their job or they get sick, whatever it may be, a farm administrator can always take control and then reassign it or give control back. This will be accomplished by using the Operations tab inside the central site and then going to the Security Configuration section. The second type that you can have is a site collection administrator. This is like the next level down. They don't have full control over everything, but they do have control over one specific site collection, remembering that multiple sites can be in a single site collection. You can either set this up after the fact or when you're creating a new site collection. SharePoint will ask you to define a primary and a secondary site collection administrator.